Hello, welcome to this video. I'm hoping to do a setup of the Amazon Echo Dot third generation with some tweaks and also how to set up skills and routines on the device. My main goals is to show somebody who's not technically inclined to be able to set this up, but also to be able to help someone who is visually impaired that once it is set up for them, that they'll be able to use this to be able to do things such as listen to the radio or for someone who's visually impaired that's no longer able to read the Bible that this through app called Uversion will be able to read to them. So let's get started. To do a little quick walk around Amazon Echo Dot third generation. Here is to turn the microphone on and off. This is to manually activate Alexa. This is to turn the volume up. This is to turn the volume down. These four little dots right here is the microphones that Alexa uses to listen to you. The one here on the right is for 12 volts and the one here on the left is for a 3.5 millimeter jack for one that you can still plug in. So let's get started. Let's go ahead and plug the Echo Dot in and have it starting up. Then it'll tell us how to complete the setup. I've already set this up before to get the feel for it and see how everything works. So my setup might be just a little bit different than yours, but it shouldn't be too hard. It should be similar. Hello, your device is ready for setup. Just follow the instructions in your Alexa app. So first, if you have an Android device, right now I'll be using a Galaxy Tab A. It's a 10.1 version. So if you have an Android device, we'll click in here where it says Play Store. We'll touch the Play Store. I've already got it set to Amazon Alexa. If not, just go up here to where the little circle is, touch that, and type in Alexa, and it'll bring up several things for you and hit that and hit install shouldn't take just a few minutes here for it to install but remember this is a real-time video so this will be about how long it takes to set up this device from start to finish. So just be patient. This is my first video. So it says that it's installed. You can either touch the open here or for some people that might not know too much about how exactly how these work you can go here and sometimes they will install the little icon here on the home page but mine isn't set up to do that so what you have to do is swipe up from the bottom and then go here and look for Alexa it's right there so if you want to touch and hold to put it on the main page touch and hold it and it will take you to the main page and you just drop it where you want to to be able to have it install from the Play Store automatically onto the main page, touch and hold here, anywhere on the home screen that's not touching an icon. Touch the home screen settings here at the bottom. And here where it says, add apps to home screen, turn that on. Then once you download an app from the App Store or the Google Play Store, it should automatically go to the home page for you so you don't have to go and look for it. Okay, so we're going to touch the Amazon Alexa app to get started. And if you're wondering, yes, you do have to have internet for this to work. I tried earlier just to see if it would work without the internet being hooked up and as long as it was hooked up to my router and it does not work that way. The internet has to be hooked up. When you ask Alexa to do anything, she says, sorry, I cannot connect to the internet right now. So 
that is just something that you need to know. So here, you do have to have an Amazon account. So you will have to either create one if you don't have one or put in your email and password, which I'll do here in just a second. Okay, I've got my information put in and hit sign in. And it'll take you to this page. And since I've already signed up for it, this right here is, I can go ahead and touch this, but to show you, I'm going to go ahead and touch the I'm someone else. So you will go ahead and put your name in there or your initials or whatever, but you have to put something in there, at least initials, to be able to continue. So hit continue. And click allow. And allow. And this step right here you don't have to do. You can just hit the skip button right here at the top. Then just go ahead and hit next, 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 and done. Okay. And once you get to this right here, you'll go up here where they call these three lines or the hamburger or whatever you want to call it. Hit that and click on add device. And the device that we want to go through and set up is the Amazon Echo. But this right here is where you can also set up the smart lights, the smart plugs, the smart switches, the hubs. Looks like they got cameras, thermostats, your lock, security system, vacuum cleaner, TV, speaker, microwave, air freshener, coffee maker, slow cooker, oven, headphones, development device, and others. But for what we're going to do, we're going to touch on the Amazon Echo. We're going to click on the Echo Dot. And since ours is a third generation, we're going to go to third generation. And it says, do you see the orange light? And you can see the orange light here on the Echo is circling. So we'll hit yes. It says you need your location. So go up here to the top. Pull down again if you have an Android device. And turn on location. Swipe that back up. And click allow. And it says to go to your, turn it on in your settings. We've already did that. So you can just hit cancel. And it says requires location to complete this. Hit continue. And hit allow. And here it's asking you to, to turn on the Bluetooth. So go back up here to the top. And hit this little button right here that looks like the Bluetooth to turn it on. Flip that back up and it'll bring up Echo Dot AVE. Touch that. And it'll say pair with it, hit OK. Hit done. Then it'll bring you back to this page and right here, it'll say echo dot have, touch that again. Then it's going to Wi-Fi isn't set up on this device. Set up network. You can find instructions in the help section of your Alexa app. And because I've set this up before, there's an extra step that I got to go through to be able to set up the device. But if this is your first time and you have, have a password saved with Amazon, then it should automatically connect. But I will show you how to do this in case you have to do a complete reset where you deregister your device you'll have to do this because I've already tried this just to make sure I can do it and how it works so I can show you so hit manual setup and they'll say is the orange light plugged in and they'll say if, and as you can see it's went from the orange to a purple light now that's flashing so what I have to do is down here on this one right here where it says no type touch no and then over here on the Amazon Echo you have to touch and hold this for about six seconds and it will go back into the mode to be able to reset now it. In setup mode. 
Now it's in Follow setup mode. Instructions in your Alexa app. So we can go ahead and finish continuing the setup. Then hit continue on the Alexa app right here. It says attempting to connect to your Echo Dot. And as you can see, it's connected. Now it's telling us to go back to the Alexa app. So we're back at it. And it's asking you to pick which Wi Fi you want to set to. The Amazon Echo Dot does work with 5G or 2.4G gigahertz band. But for what the Echo Dot does, I would recommend. 2.4 gigahertz one because all you're doing is streaming music and stuff like that so it doesn't need a lot of bandwidth and fast download i would save the 5g for stuff that you're going to be devices that you're going to be such as your cell phone your tablet a laptop a computer your fire stick or a roku or something like that that's going to need a faster network when it's um, downloading videos or streaming videos. So we're going to connect to the 2.4G one. But remember, your uh, Wi-Fi is going to have a different name and password than what mine is. So you'll have to um, find out what yours is and set it up accordingly. But remember, this is, I'm going to try to do this in real time. Your Echo is ready. So as you can see, it's set up. So it says that we're set up. So we hit continue here at the bottom. So in this one right here, um, if you have more than one Echo Dot, you can pick which one you want to, like where you want to put it at. If you want to put it in your kitchen, dining room, bedroom, master bedroom, family room, living room, den, office, bathroom, hallway, lounge, basement, garage, patio, backyard, downstairs, upstairs, or you can create a custom name right there. Since I only have one, I'm just going to skip this one down here at the bottom. I'm just going to hit skip for that one. And it says that welcome to Echo Dot. There's you can hit the play button right here to watch this video. I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to hit skip. And here it's asking you if you want to sign up for a 30 free a 30 day trial of Audible, I'm not going to, so touch no thanks. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit the go home button because setup is complete. Now if you want to look at your device, you go right here to hit the devices down here in the bottom right corner. Oops. I guess I have to set it up first, so hit your echo right there. Then hit Jeff's Echo Dot or whatever you put your name in as. And this right here gives you some information. It gives you what the volume is and you can control the volume. But on the Echo Dot from this right here too, you can set up Bluetooth devices. So this Echo Dot can be used as a Bluetooth speaker itself. This right here gives you some more information. So it looks like we can do a few things here. Stereo pair, subwoofer, but they have to be all connected on the same online and on the same network. I don't have any of those, so I won't be doing that. An echo remote, just to let you know, I watched some videos before I got this and they said that a Fire TV stick remote could be used with this, that is not true. It cannot be set up to use with it, which I was hoping. You have to buy the Amazon Echo remote specifically for this, and it's like $20 on Amazon. And also, you can pair Alexa gadgets here, and here is for sound, and it's got stuff for the alarms, and if you want to set 
the volume for the alarm and here it's start request and end request if you want to hear when you say Alexa that it will alert you that she has came on I'm not sure. and then also it will play a sound at the end so it would probably be a good idea to turn these on so that would be about all for that then we'll go back out of that then we'll scroll down free time from what I understand it has something to do with um, like a kids menu and we don't want to do that disturb we don't want that on right now um, do not disturb that's up to you if you want that on device location for me I don't want any of my information on there so but you do have to have your zip code on there so you do have to have that so I left that on there but I left everything off else off of there so we'll look at it's got time zones and also wake word and this right here is where you can change instead of saying her name that starts with an, an A and ends with an A you can change it to Amazon computer or echo that would be up to you what you want to use and just to show you what I'm talking about I will do that so here we'll change the from Alexa we change it to Amazon so now you can hear her um, beeping for Amazon then we'll change it to computer so now you can say Alexa without her beeping because I changed it to computer or you can change it to echo that's totally up to you what you want to change it to but for me once I get done with this that I'll be changing it back to Alexa so we'll go hit the back button and there is stuff here that I will show you if you want to change or if you ever need to completely reset your device right here it says register to and if you scroll all the way down to that over here at the right side it says deregister and if you hit that and confirm it then it will completely erase the device and you have to do a complete setup which is what I did is why I had to go through the extra steps at the beginning to be able to get it to register for Wi-Fi but here you can also set measurement units for here in the United States the default or what we normally use would be Fahrenheit and also miles but if you live elsewhere in the world they use Celsius and they use kilometers but here would be totally up to you so we'll go back and audio settings for regular talking and stuff like that these settings would be okay but for music for me then it totally up to you how you want to set them but for me I like treble and also I like a little bit of bass and just up just a little bit it makes it sound a lot better when uh, you're listening to music and believe it or not this little echo sounds pretty good so we went through that so now I will go back to home and show you how to set up skills skills is basically enabling apps that Alexa can use to control different functions I will show you what I'm talking about so we go back hit the home button down here at the bottom which it doesn't matter if you're at home but go here okay for this one I'll be showing you how to set up Uversion Bible Klove and a couple other ones so skills there is a whole bunch of different skills that you can go through and set up see, as you can see here there's CNBC News, New York Times, Pikachu, Ask Questions, Common Knowledge, Vintage Radio, Gunsmoke, Beach Sounds, Inspire Me, Pooch Doctor then there's also categories Help Cooking, Plan a Night, Make a Family, Time, End Your Day, Games, Music and Audio, News, new arrivals business and finance connected car education and reference enterprise food and drink local movies and TV novelty and humor productivity shopping smart home utilities weather but what we're going to do is go up here to the top and we're going to hit the search right here and then we're going to search and what I want since I know the name you can type Bible if you're not sure exactly what you want and it will bring up a whole bunch of different Bible apps 
But for us, what I'm going to show you how to set up is the Uversion Bible. Okay, when you touch this, it will show you the different commands of what Alexa can do for you. And it, right here it tells you that there is five different Bible versions. There's the NIV, the King James Version, English Standard Version, New Living Testament, and the Message, which is ones that you can choose from to be read. Um, I know there's more in the, in the app if you have it, but these are the only ones that they offer through the Amazon Echo. And these right here tells you how to open this. It says Alexa, open you version Bible and different things. But I'm going to show you how to change that to so you don't have to remember you version. We're just going to change it to open Bible here after I enable this and a couple of other ones. OK, we'll enable this. And it says save permissions. And yes. So that one is enabled. So the next one I'm going to look for is K-Love. It's a Christian music station. K-Love Radio. And also there's one right below this that we'll set up to here after we get done setting this one up. Okay, for this one, it says right here, Alexa, play K-Love which is easy to remember because that's the station that you want to go to. So we will not be changing this one since this one is already set up and easy to use. We'll just click Enable. And that's an Enable. Then we'll go to My Tuner Radio. And this one says that you can listen to the Big Apple, Europe, Asia, Australia, radio stations from here in the United States, says there's over 200 countries and 50,000 radio stations to choose from. So we will enable this one. That one's enabled. But this one right here, you have to say, Alexa, ask my tuner radio to get it going. So we'll change this one to something easier. And then, you know, it just gives you some other information on how to use them. So we'll go out of this. And a couple of fun ones that I found, let me see if I can get on that, there we go, is thunderstorms, thunderstorm sounds. So we'll click on this one and open thunderstorm sounds. But here, as you can see, I think it shows down here, it, it will only play for one hour. But if you say loop, it will play constantly until you tell it to stop. So if you want to play all night, you just have to say play. But we'll go through here a few sounds that you can play. Have installed rain sounds, ocean sounds, babbling brook, fireplace, airplane, fan, oscillating fan, city sounds, rainforest, train sounds, crickets, frogs, birds, clocks, cats, vacuum, pink noise, brown noise, white noise, wind noise, windy leaves, windy trees, rain on the tin roof, rain on the tent. I'm not going to say all of them. Dishwasher, heavy rain, dripping water, waterfall, owl sounds, underwater sounds. But here it shows you if you want to. Um, so this one. We will enable, and we'll go out of it. Okay, that's all I'm going to do for the skills. Then I'll show you how to do uh, to set up routines. There is some routines already installed. Man, that's already been done. This one right here, I, Alexa, start my day. It, when you play it, it'll tell you something new. It'll report the weather and also open the verse of the day and she'll ask you what you want it, what you wanted to read. So I will play this for you. Good morning. 50 years ago today, the internet took a giant step closer to reality when ARPANET engineers established the first host-to-host -host computer network. Apparently their first attempt failed, but a quick reboot corrected the problem. 
I guess that means, have you tried rebooting? Has been around for at least 50 years too. In Marion, it's 44 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies. Today, you can look for lots of clouds, with a high of 62 degrees and a low of 44 degrees. Would you like today's Bible verse or a verse from this past week? Please tell me what day's verse you'd like. Today. Read today. I didn't understand. What date's verse from this past week would you like to hear again? Sometimes she doesn't understand, so that's frustrating, but you get the idea about that. Mm -hmm. So we'll go back and I'll show you how to set up a routine, which is going to make it easier for the skills to work so you don't have to remember the specific name of the app. So we'll go to when this happens, and then we will select voice, and that's how you control it. Then you will select Alexa, and you'll enter the phrase for the Bible. We'll click or touch and spell out the word. Open. Bible. Okay, then we'll go up here and hit the next button. And it wants to know what you want to do. So we'll touch the plus right there. Then we'll go to skills. And then we'll go to your skills. And then we'll pick which one we want. Since we put in open Bible, we'll touch the U version Bible. Then we'll go back up here to the next one. Touch that. And then here at the bottom, choose where you want it to, to speak from. Um, it's got three different ones. The device you speak to, Jeff's Echo Dot, which your name will be different, or this mobile device, because remember, this right here is installed on the tablet. So if you speak to that and you select this, it will talk to you on this. But we're going to do... Jeff's Echo Dot. So now we hit save. And now we'll try it out. Computer. Open Bible. Chapter or verse. Get the verse of the day or read your plan. What would you like me to read? Okay, once you're in this app, um, you choose which version of the Bible you want. Versions? Hmm. I'm not sure what you want me to do. I can read a book, chapter, or verse from the Bible. Read your plan, or the verse of the day. What would you like me to read? King James Bible. I did not recognize King James Bible as a supported version. Bible versions. I have five versions with full audio narration. King James Version. English Standard Version, The Message, New International Version, and New Living Translation. What version would you like to use? King James. From now on, I'll read to you from the King James Version. What would you like to hear? For copyright reasons, I can only let it play for just a second after I select it. John 1. Hmm. I'm not sure what you want me to do. I can read a book, chapter, or verse from the Bible. Read your plan, or the verse of the day. What can I read for you? John chapter 1, verse 1. John 1, verse 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. So, you can see that it works. Sometimes she doesn't completely understand what you're wanting. It takes a little bit of getting used to to understand but you have to wait until you're actually in the app before you can do different commands as far as setting up the Bible to which version you want to listen to if you want to repeat if you're on the music app once it, the song starts playing then you say repeat and she will repeat the song 
but you have to wait until you're in the app before you can do it or before it will work correctly from what I have found. Let me show you how to set up a couple more of the routines here real quick. So we'll go back up here and since Caleb was already set up we'll keep that the same. This one will go back to voice phrase will do open radio then we'll do action touch the plus sign there then we'll go back down here to skills your skills and these right here is the ones that Alexa is enabled so that Alexa can use those and we will set my tuner radio then we'll touch next up here at the top right choose a device Jeff's echo dot remember yours will be different then we will save that then we'll say I'll go back and change the wake word so yours will sound similar okay then it should be set Alexa open radio welcome to my tuner radio say play followed by the radio station name to play a station or say help for more options you can choose if you know the call station letter you can use that or you can choose by genre or a certain radio station so we'll try it again Alexa open radio welcome to my tuner radio say play followed by the radio station name to play a station or say help for more options for me I like bluegrass I've found one NWAFM Radio Bluegrass, 2. Worldwide Bluegrass Radio from Newport, Kentucky, 3. I like Music Radio Misak from Thailand. Choose a station or say next for more options. Then to choose the option, number 1. Playing NWAFM Radio Bluegrass. <laughs> Alexa, stop. For copyright reasons, I can't let anything play too long. So that is um, basically how to go through and set this up and how to set up the skills and to do routines. I've got a couple things here. We'll go to internet. I've already got one open and we'll play this one. you can see it works pretty good as a, um, just a regular Bluetooth speaker also. I hope this is a basic guide to show how to set this up and hopefully it's useful for you to be able to use and set up and hopefully it will be useful for someone that is visually impaired. Thank you for watching this video.